Hey guys, I'm Ellie Morgan, welcome to Sourcefed. I'm gonna give you some science news to chew on in three, two, one, plus the span of the intro. So just roll that now, thank you. Hey, have you ever heard of a Pandora virus? I bet you haven't. When I first saw the word, I thought it said panda virus, and I was like, mm, this is gonna be cute. But no, it's Pandora virus, as in Pandora's box, because this freaking virus could make us rethink everything we know about the origins of life on this planet. Jeez, okay, this is so cool. So a new giant virus was discovered in Chile, and it could potentially take the tree of life, uproot it, and just generally screw everything up that we thought we knew about everything. The Pandora virus is larger both in size and complexity. It used to be that we'd be like, oh yeah, a virus is a virus because it's tiny with like 10 genes, right? Only the Pandora virus, or as I've called it in my mind, monster virus, has around 25 genes. Whoops, sorry, intentional verbal mishap, 2,500 genes. It's like this big. Oh, and 90% of those genes can't be traced back to any known lineage in nature. Dr. Clavery, who published the paper in the journal Science and led the team of virus hunters, stated, we believe we're opening a Pandora's box, not so much for humanity, but for dogma about viruses. We believe we're touching an alternative tree of life. And they found the sucker living in sediment. That's not where virus Viruses are supposed to live, silly viruses. And this thing is visible using a microscope, okay? It's a micrometer long, which by virus standards is massive. And guess what? The newly discovered Pandora virus poses no threat to humans, so relax, all right? The reason it poses no threat to humans is because it may have come from, um, you know, somewhere besides Earth, like Mars. Dr. Clavery believes the giant freak of nature could have come from Mars, so yeah. This thing is so revolutionary and so different that it might mean we need a fourth domain of life. I don't know if you remember this from biology or not, like eukaryotic, prokaryotic, but life on Earth is divided into three categories. That's insane. Domains are like the trunks on the tree of life. And if you start screwing around with them, then potentially you'll have to rethink everything, which is kind of crazy. Oh <sighs> gosh, sorry. Now, look, I'm going to be honest with you. It takes a lot to get me super excited about something in regards to science, but a giant virus just sleeping in dirt in South America is one of those things. The discovery as the team of virus hunters stated demonstrates our shallow knowledge of microbiology on earth. And as tempting as it might be to like freak out and assume that we're all going to die. I mean, we will eventually, but not because of the virus. Chantelle Abergill of the National Center for Scientific Research stated, the genes of these new viruses might point to alternative metabolic pathways that might revolutionize the biotech and pharmaceutical industry. Wow, that's crazy. This is my kind of science news, okay? The kind that could potentially be very helpful to people and also demonstrate how freaking little we know about the world we live in. We think we have all this crap figured out, but we don't. Tell me in the comments below, what is your favorite branch of science and why? Don't say geology, because that crap is boring, unless you're into it, to each their own. While you're down there, please like this video. You can subscribe to this channel. You can click this annotation right here for all of our stories. My name is Elliot Morgan. Sometimes, every now and then, news is really fun. Have a good one, bye.